Hello, I'm Jane Nelson Worrell, Nurse Practitioner and Clinical Education Director at the Preventive Cardiovascular Nurses Association. Our topic today is what you can do to help patients with PAD feel better today. Because treatment options are limited, working with patients with peripheral arterial disease can be frustrating. Symptoms such as leg pain or weakness with walking, known as claudication, limits the distance and duration the patients can walk without rest. This can make climbing stairs or activities of daily living difficult, and the pain may even persist when the individual is resting or lying down. So how can you help these patients feel better today? Well, regular walking programs are extremely helpful for patients with PAD and intermittent claudication. Studies have demonstrated that participants in a walking program may be able to walk up to three or four times farther and have less leg pain within about 12 weeks. This benefit can be a significant motivator for patients. Walking may seem counterintuitive to your patients, so it is important to provide guidance as to how to start, build, and maintain a walking program. A set of written instructions such as those found on the PCNA website at pcna.net slash PAD may help patients and their families or caregivers remember what you have discussed during the clinical visit. This is also a great way for patients to track progress. As you are discussing the walking program with your patient and perhaps their family or caregiver, it is important to assess their readiness to make changes and their perceived ability to change. You can assist by listening for a potential barriers and helping the patient identify possible solutions. Based on your patient, identify a starting place for the walking program. The goal is 30 to 45 minutes of total walking, not counting rest breaks, but it may take several weeks for a patient to build to this level. It is important to review the pain scale with your patient so that they can identify when to continue and when to stop walking. On a treadmill, the patient should set the speed and the grade that brings on claudication pain in about three to five minutes. The patient should then walk at this rate until they experience claudication at a moderate severity, then rest until the pain subsides and continue walking. Over time, the patient should be able to walk uh, longer and uh, at a designated speed and grade and then they can increase the speed and grade until once again they experience pain at about three to five minutes. An example of your initial instructions to a patient might be, please begin your walking program with five to seven minutes of walking three times a week. Remember to rest when your leg pain is about an eight or a nine on the pain scale. If your patient does not have access to a treadmill, a park or a shopping mall that provides a level walking surface and comfortable spots to rest such as a bench will do. Those living in apartments may also use the hallways of their buildings. It is important to note that patients with PAD are at high risk for coronary disease. Make certain to provide your patients with instructions as to how to identify symptoms including chest pain or shortness of breath and identify steps they should take if they experience angina or heart attack-like symptoms. Managing risk factors associated with cardiovascular disease is important for those with PAD. Lowering cholesterol, quitting smoking, and improving blood sugar and blood pressure control may improve claudication symptoms while reducing the risk of heart attack and stroke. In conclusion, you can help your patients with PAD feel better starting today. Thank you for taking time to join us and please visit pcna.net backslash PAD for additional information and resources.